Now, the World Health Organization issued an advice on Thursday stating that people exposed to coronavirus should be tested even if they do not show immediate symptoms of the infection. In the latest briefing, WHO epidemiologist said that along with severe cases, suspected cases and their contacts also need to be tested to break the chain of transmission to prevent further spread. Um, what we've outlined are um, strategies to actively find cases. Um, and so we have recommendations to test suspect cases. Um, and in situations where it is feasible and is possible uh, to expand testing where necessary to really look for the cases so that they could be isolated um, and that contact tracing can ensue. The comments came after U.S. health authorities said that people exposed to COVID-19 but not showing symptoms do not need to get tested. The controversial guidelines by the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention stirred criticism from medical professionals and politicians. In response to the growing criticism, CDC director clarified the new guidelines by saying testing may be considered for all close contacts of confirmed or probable COVID-19 patients. The U.S. health body this week shifted from its earlier stand that all close contacts of infected people should be tested as a precautionary measure. The World Health Body had developed guidelines for different countries depending on the intensity of the outbreak in the region, although main focus of testing should be on those with symptoms, individuals at the mild end of the spectrum need to be traced as well to break the chain completely.